Uh, we're here at, uh, in the break at uh, WIPO, at uh, the World Intellectual Property Organization, on July 19th. And I'm talking to Melanie Brunson from the United States. And I was wondering if you could start out by explaining who you are, who you work for, and uh, why you're here at, at Geneva this week, and how you think things are going in this negotiation. Sure. I'm uh, the executive director of the American Council of the Blind, and we are a national organization whose members are primarily people who have visual impairments or are blind. We do have sighted members as well, but our organization has been at the forefront of accessibility issues since 1961 when we were formed. And one of the areas that we are very concerned about is access to books. We are concerned about access to books, not just for people in the United States, where actually access is one of the um, one of the best in the world. But even with that being said, we are facing a shortage of books where at least 98% of the books that are published to date are not made available to people who can't read print. And that problem gets even bigger in developing countries where the access resources are not nearly as, um, as available as they are in countries like the U.S. and in uh, the European Union. So we are working with the blind around the world to make sure that there is greater access to books for blind people in all countries. And that effort is proceeding. I think every time we meet, there is a greater understanding of the, the need and there is increasing willingness, I think, to, to move forward and remove the barriers to, to meeting that need. Although I think there is still a lot that needs to be discussed with regard to the details of how to remove the barriers and um, ensure that all of the interests of all of the parties are protected sufficiently so that people can be comfortable about joining on to the practical consequences of what they know that at least in theory needs to be done. Uh, Melly, uh, it, are you in, uh, do you have a position on the issue about whether the nature of the instrument that they're discussing this week should be a treaty or a joint recommendation? Well, we absolutely support a treaty. We believe that that's really the only way to ensure that countries will know that it's, it's important and that it's not just something that they can sort of do or do voluntarily or do only parts of. We want to make sure that whatever happens has enough teeth to make it to, to to make it something that's taken seriously by nations around the world. How would the uh, lives of blind people change in the United States if there was a treaty that allowed the import and export of accessible works from other countries? Well, clearly people for whom English is not their first language would have a lot more options. And even students of other languages, one of the problems that you have as a blind student trying to learn a foreign language is that your options for reading in that language are currently pretty limited because the National Library Service for the Blind produces primarily English language books. So there'd be a lot more options for those people. But also, I think that one of, one of the things that we all recognize is that even for English language productions, there's currently a lot of duplication that takes place because the UK produces a book, Canada produces their own copy, and the US produces their own copy, and Australia produces their own copy because none of us can share them. But if 
we were able to share books even among English-speaking countries. That would free up more resources for the individual countries to produce additional books as opposed to everybody having to create their own copies of, of a given book. And that would make, in the long run, more books available for everyone who speaks English. Melanie, thank you very much. Is there anything you'd like to add before we conclude the interview? Just that we hope that there will be significant progress um, toward the creation of an instrument and that that instrument will in fact be a treaty that can be taken to a diplomatic conference next year. Thank you very much.